Mr. Stefan Larsson, you are one of the authors of the BCG report Zorg voor Waarde. Um, you told us about the Swedish registries. What uh, do the Swedish registries mean for the quality of healthcare in Sweden? The registries have been around for many years. Um, I think what they have led to is an improvement of the quality of care, simply because measuring quality and making it clear where hospitals stand in quality, there's an incentive to improve quality. So by knowing what the quality is like, uh, it's easier to know when you need to improve it or not. Okay. So then you have better quality because of the registries, but the cost will go up, don't they? Um, yes, in, in places where we look, the quality is very good and it's become better over time. And if you don't have registries, you know, you won't see that to the same way. So we think quality is good for the areas where you have registries. Uh, but quality does not go up. In fact, our view is that the quality, uh, the, cost, cost. the costs do not uh, go up. If anything, the costs seem to be going down. Not for all diseases, but for many diseases that we've looked at. So hip surgery, you know, many other surgeries, eye surgery, costs are much lower because you have been better at improving qu uh, quality. So it sounds like a sort of Swedish miracle. Quality going up, costs going down. But it's, you know, it's not something unusual. If you look at the car industry mm -hmm. and other industries, Toyota, they focused not on I reducing costs, they focused on quality. As a result, Toyota became a very profitable car company. Mm -hmm. uh, so if they had focused on costs instead, I don't think they would have achieved as good results as they did by focusing on quality. Mm -hmm. So it's rather surprising that we haven't done that systematically mm -hmm. in healthcare mm -hmm. before. So yeah. I would turn it, the question around. Okay. It makes sense. Yeah. So uh, you told us, one century ago in Holland, the registry of outcomes was very good in Holland, and now it's worst of all Europe. What can we do about it? Well, I, we, I have been told by an old professor that uh, before the, you know, World War II, Holland was the country in Europe that was most advanced in mm -hmm. trying to gather information about quality. Mm -hmm. And then as a result of the war, that changed. I, don't, I wouldn't say you're worse than Europe now, mm -hmm. but, but I think Holland has, I think as a result of what happened during the war, been quite careful in gathering this type of information. Mm -hmm. But I think today the world looks different and, and safety on patient information, I think, can be handled much better. We have safe bank systems, we have mm -hmm. other systems that are very safe. So I think there's a good chance of, of Holland moving forward in this place and, and putting quality more in the focus of the healthcare system. Okay, but do you have some advice for us? What, what should we do? I think the most the Im most important question is if you move in this direction, that you do it with a strong support of the profession. This is something doctors and nurses should be engaged in, should it be you know be involved in and make decisions about, uh, rather than having it come top down from policymakers. Mm -hmm. This is a tool for physicians and nurses to improve the quality of the work they do, so they need to be involved. So I think that's one of the, the key questions yeah. to make. The, the, the professionals really have to bear the system then, yeah. the quality system. They, they need to endorse it, they need to be behind it, they need to play a central role in defining what you measure, how you measure it. They need to play a role in validating the data, so the data is of high quality. They also need to play a role in interpreting the information, mm -hmm. so to understand why is there a difference between one hospital compared to another. So the profession needs to t take a very central role in this. Okay. Would it be uh, more uh, complex to introduce the system in Holland where uh, more competition is going on than in Sweden? I think that might be, you know, uh, there might, might be a bit harder to do, uh, but I think again, if the physicians, the orthopedic surgeons or the cardiologists, they agree that this is important for us to improve the profession, I think you can unite the profession around it and then the, you know, the competition will not be a, a big barrier. Mm -hmm. We see many examples in the US and in other systems that have competitive healthcare that are moving in this direction as well. So I think it's a bit harder, but I don't think it's a major barrier. Okay. So one next advice, what, what should we do in Holland? Uh, besides engaging the physicians, yeah. I, I think uh, uh, probably start by doing a few pilots for a few diseases and have good examples to show. Mm -hmm. Because I think rather than starting all over the place, I think mm -hmm. doing a few, do it carefully mm -hmm. and, and, and learn from it, I think is the best way of starting. Okay.